Welcome back. Amber Heard is set to take the stand next week in the blockbuster defamation trial between her and her ex-husband, Johnny Depp. Heard's attorneys promised in opening statements that jurors would see evidence of Depp's alleged abuse and hear expert testimony to support Amber Heard's claims. But probably the biggest indication of what we can expect from her and her testimony comes from a 2016 deposition where Heard recounts the May 2016 penthouse incident as well as a time she says Depp was about to push her sister down a flight of stairs. Did you ever tell any officers at your house on May 21, 2016 that, the, that Johnny Depp had ever done anything wrong to you that night or before? You're asking me if I've told them? If you told them on he, May 21, yes. Again, I said to them, I declined to give any statement at this time as per the advice of my counsel. Did the police they did make a comment to me about it seeming unsafe. That's why they needed to check the apartment. They made uh, a gesture to my face. They said that I looked hurt. They also pulled um, me aside and said, Look, just say, just say a statement. We can make sure you're safe. Just say a statement, or give us a statement, and we'll go get the guy. And they said the exact same thing to Josh. Did, is it your testimony that a police officer on May 21 yes. told you that it appeared you looked hurt? Uh, he just, uh, he or she gestured, I can't remember which one, to my face and said, it's, we can tell you've been hurt or you don't look good or something to that effect, but I don't remember the exact words they used. But something to that effect? Yeah. Did you ever no. punch Johnny Depp with a closed fist in the history of your relationship with Johnny? Answer it however you feel you wish to. Thank you. One time, um, Johnny was hitting me, and he was hitting me hard and repeatedly. And I was screaming. Security walks in, and they don't do anything about it. And there, he, 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 he makes this motion uh, when Jerry Judge yells, Fox, or uh, Sean, I can't remember who it was. And, um, and my, all we had was a little bit of separation, and my sister runs down the stairs. Uh, it's a, uh, we're on a landing in between two flights of stairs. Miss Heard, I must interrupt you, you because can't. I've you can't. asked you a yes then or no withdraw question. Your, withdraw your question then because Ms. she's Heard, answering. Prior to today's date, um, have, at any time, has Johnny, have you ever hit Johnny Depp? You You've already asked, and she's already answered, and you interrupted her. Ms. Hart, have you ever hit Johnny May Depp prior to today? Judge the biggest of times. Everyone on this side of the room, please. Objection 352. It's not relevant to this domestic violence pursuit. Overruled. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Answer it however you want to, including the way you were just... Asking for a yes or no answer. You don't have to answer it the way she wants you to answer it. He was about to push my sister down the stairs. She was attempting to break us up. I am protective over my baby sister. When he laid hands on her, I don't know what I did, but I know I jumped in between the actions that I saw could lead to a fatal injury to my sister. She was standing on the top of a flight of the stairs and she has never hurt anyone in her life and she does not deserve to be pushed down the flight of stairs. And it looked like she was about to be. And I would have done what anybody who has a child or a sister would have done. I acted defensively in her life. I saw her standing on top of a flight of his stairs and trying to interrupt a fight in between him and I. I don't know what part of my body I, I put in between me and him and, and her, but I would have done anything. I would have done anything to prevent her from being pushed on a flight of stairs. That's from 2016, a deposition uh, conducted uh, with Amber Heard still with us, law professor at the University of Georgia and former prosecutor Melissa Redman in Atlanta and criminal defense attorney Marie Pereira in New York City. Um, Melissa, to you first on this one, what's your takeaway watching her in that depo? Um, and, and depositions are different. It's, it's a little more chaotic, as you could hear. Um, your thoughts? Um, I think she's going to do a very good job of getting her story out and, and, and 
telling the story of what happened to her during her relationship with Johnny Depp. I do, based on what we just saw, think that the the, the plaintiff's attorneys are going to have a hard time on trying to control her on cross-examination because I think she will likely attempt at least to answer the questions though the, that exact same way without a yes or no as you want on cross-examination, but with an explanation. Um, and I think it's going to be on cross that will, that that the jury will get a better insight as to her personality, how willing she is to just be forthcoming with her answers. So I, I'm anxious to see how she, she does. I don't think she'll have a problem at all on direct. I'm, I'm anxious to see or interested to see how she performs on cross-examination and how that comes across to the jury. No, I'm anxious. Marie, your um, your thoughts when you look at that depot? I, I completely agree with, with my co-guest because you know what? Direct is sweet. It's your lawyer hearing your story from the lenses of what you guys want the jury to hear. Cross is another situation, and I don't think she'll do well on Cross because for all she's saying, there are prior testimonies from the previous court case. They have that problematic um, therapist who said, Amber told me she hit Johnny and she threw a can at him. So it puts her already as the person who's... Uh, likely to, to throw things, high velocity injury type cans. People are coming up and saying she, they, she threw cans off banisters, cans on airplanes, bottles throwing at him, and it really supports his narrative. On cross, she's going to have a problem because of her own words and the words of that therapist. Melissa, if you were her defense attorney, one of the things that stood out to me a bit on that depot is her passion. And uh, passion is good sometimes, but passion can also be bad if you let it overwhelm you and you turn it into a battle. Um, how do you set a, a client up, if you will, before they take the stand to not get caught? Because there's going to be a lot of traps set for Miss Heard when she's on the stand during cross. Right, because the narrative we've heard so far is that that passion translates to violence. That she's she she started out as a passionate person and turned into a violent person. So when she doesn't get her way when things aren't going as she would like, then she becomes violent. And you don't want that to come across on cross examination. So you would hope that her attorneys have prepped her, cross examined her themselves to see how she performs and is able to to answer the questions, get across her her story without becoming angry and to try to keep her temper her. Uh, temper in check. And anyone who has a, a temper um, knows how difficult it is, especially when you have a being cross-examined by opposing counsel to keep it in check. But I think that's going to be um, the most difficult thing she'll have to do during her testimony. And Marie, we saw with Johnny Depp, he uh, was able to spin yarns for what seemed hours, but he was able to captivate people with his storytelling abilities. And what he didn't do for the most part, there was a couple passive aggressive digs at uh, Mr. Rottenborn, uh, but he didn't um, lose his cool. And um, losing your cool, especially after Johnny Depp's expert gets up and says that she's got some uh, some mental issues in, in her estimation. She's under a huge microscope here, and it's a huge disadvantage to go second in a case like this. Your thoughts? You know what? I want to say I don't think that Johnny Depp did not lose his cool. I thought there were times during cross-examination he was rude, he was contentious, and he really was talking back in a way that was inappropriate for a witness. And I feel they should have prepared him. He's saying things like when they said, uh, were you drunk? He was like, well, were you there? Uh, can, can I finish? I, f I felt like he had very, very bad poor courtroom etiquette and his attorneys should have re prepared him more. And I hope that Amber's attorneys prepare her more because I feel like that courtroom is a little bit out of control sometimes. But uh, Marie, just to follow up, his, yeah, I agree with you. He was disrespectful at times. He was um, um, rude and, but he didn't to um, the point raised earlier, he didn't um, get upset to the point where you thought, ooh, he, he could easily be a person that strikes someone because, as Melissa pointed out, passion can be translated in different ways. And in this forum, does she have to be very careful? Because we saw a little bit on the deposition where the intensity comes across as just that. Um, does she have to be careful of that? 
I think she does have to be careful because she's already been branded as someone with a personality disorder that involves manipulation, agitation, poor impulse control, fear of abandonment. She, by her own words, has already told the therapist, I throw cans. People see her engaging in high velocity injury type risk actions and they are, we already feel that she's coming on that she's a liar, she's rude, she's a mean girl. So she has a lot of making up to do and she best be on her best behavior on that stand. You're right, to not show any potential for aggression. Okay, well, again, we're eagerly anticipating uh, her on the stand, expected next week, expected at this point to be the first witness that according to our, our Chanley Painter for her case, which likely will begin Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. The newest Court TV podcast is all about the Depp versus Heard trial. Vinny Politan is joined by TV, uh, Court TV legal correspondent Chanley Painter for a behind the scenes look at how Depp did during his cross-examination from Amber Heard's attorneys. Take a listen. If you had to describe the image of Johnny Depp by the time this cross-examination ended and what the, the impact of the drugs and the alcohol was on him and the relationship, how would you, how would you describe that? The picture inside the courtroom is of Johnny Depp is someone who struggled with substance abuse his entire life. But at the same time, you know, we see him inside the courtroom now and he seems to be clean, right? And sober, he talked on the witness stand. So I think that says a lot for seeing what he was several years ago, seeing him now that he's changed in that direction. I think that's that's obvious. And I think the jurors take note of that. We'll talk about that and all the other developments in the defamation case going on. It is available wherever you get your podcasts. Download and listen.